You stand at the top of this mountain and think, yay, I did it. Isn't that brilliant? I stand at the top here and think, is history repeating itself? And am I one of those people that has destiny written all over them? Because if the answer to that latter question is yes, then my next question is, how the hell do I scrub it off? I just don't like the idea that I'm part of somebody else's plan. Even if it's a divine plan, I just don't want to feel like I have no control over my own fate or that I have responsibilities for anything beyond my own schemes and desires. I'm seriously beginning to worry that we're going to wander in there and be told, good news, you're special, bad news, I'm afraid you have to save the world or something. Because this is how it usually goes, isn't it? Okay, there's somebody up there. Okay. That is interesting armor. Do you have your light on? That's no, my God, it's bright up here. Okay. What's well, next? friends are seeing someone else all the way up here. What brings you so far up the mountain, friends? Okay. Are you a guardian? What? Well, I, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a pilgrim. You're just a pilgi pilgrim in that armor wielding that axe. You suck at disguises, okay? Show him the note and the shard. Really? I don't have any idea what all of this means. Oh, okay. Re no, I'm here to help. You're being hunted. I probably should have come much sooner. So, you aren't one of them, then? Alright, yes. I'm a guardian of Akatosh. But tell me, how did you come into possession of that chart? Yes, somebody called Bry Byron came running up to me, gave it to me, and then assassins appeared and killed him. That's the short story. It's also the long story, because there's not really a lot else to it. That's a shame. But at least he was able to get a piece to you and out of the hands of the enemy. Uh, who is the enemy? And why is it better that it was in my hands? Assassins from the Morag Tong, hired by Dunmer Daedra worshippers. We are trying to reforge the Amulet of Kings in hopes it may as help us solidify Martin Septon's sacrifice and forever seal Oblivion away from the world. And obviously, forever cutting the Daedra lords off from this world doesn't sit well with many Dunmer who worship them. Okay, so it's to, you want you want to rebuild this artifact. I have a special interest in artifacts. I can keep them safe for you as well. What can I do to help? I'll entrust my fragment to you. It and I will be safer that way, I think. You seem able to handle yourself against the assassins. I'll remain here in hopes that the remaining guardians show up. And in the meantime, perhaps, you can try and find one of them for me. Oh. She was apparently heading through Pale Pass from Cyrodiil, and should have gotten here before me, in fact. I will, I will look into it. Yes, I will. Yes. Great. The gates to Pale Pass are locked off, so you'll need to go through Pale Cave, which is further to the west of there. Pale Hold Cave. On your map. Be careful. That place is treacherous. The place seems to ring a bell. Okay, thank you very, very much. We were actually coming up here. What time of day is it? It's evening. It really is rather sunny. I am... Um, Emblem 10, the voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. Okay, whoa. Voice of the sky added. Voice of the sky at, oh, okay. Animals will neither attack nor flee from the wielder of this, whoa. Is this because I read all of the Emblem things? I've now got 24 hours where bears won't bloody well attack me. I'm not saying it's worth running up and down this mountain just to get that. 
What I am saying is, do you think there's any way we could dig up all of these emblems and just sort of put them in the museum? Someone would probably object, wouldn't they? Search the chest. Uh... Okay. Hi, Hrothgar. Uh, oh, I'm, pe I'm peckish. Are you peckish? I'm peckish. I'm going to, I'm going to have a quick... But and you have something to say? How are the sweet rolls? Uh, any thoughts? It was quite a climb getting here. Maybe we should just slide back down. Um, maybe we shouldn't. That would probably get us killed. It might be an awful lot of fun for a brief amount of time. Okay, but um, beyond that, l no. I am. Um, you give me best equipment, yes? I try to give you. You've, you've still got your sweet roll. You're not actually going through them very quickly, have you? Uh, as, as the sort of reduction in sweet roll um, supply curbed your appetite a little. I'm, I'm going to hold off. I am going to hold off because you did ask me Let to watch your, your intake. Okay, let's go and introduce ourselves to the Greybeards and hope they're nice and don't give us terrible... Okay, apparently they're rolling pots up and down. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Uh, hello? I believe I was invited. Hi. My name's Leonard, and I'm very pleased to meet you. This is Inigo. He's... So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Maybe. What exactly does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Okay, that sounded a little... little, um... Do not be rude. afraid. Your shout will not harm us. Oh, you want me to do... Well, I've only done it once before and I was a little... irritable? And... Strike us with the power of your voice. Okay, just I'm just trying to explain to you that I'm not completely sure. I, I mean, I, just give me a, just give me a, it was, yeah, uh. Do, do you have to stare at me? Shout at us and let us taste of your voice. At you or, okay. Uh. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Okay, thank you. I am Master Angil. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? What? Because I was told to come. I was told you invited me. What do you mean, why have I come? Aren't you supposed to be telling me this? Why have I come here? Should be the question I'm asking you. I asked, so I answered your summons, Master. Uh, no. I want to find out what it means to be... Th I want... Yes, I want to know what's bloody well going on, basically. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. The what? You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Dragon blood? You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. No, I'm sorry, how could that happen? I mean, are you suggesting my mother and a dragon sort of hit it off and I was the result? I mean, I can neither confirm nor deny that, but that does seem to be somewhat unlikely. I mean, the anatomical problems alone, if you think about it, are, uh, who are you and what is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar on the slopes of Kinarith's 
sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Okay. And um, does the ingestion of certain hallucinogenic substances uh, get uh, introduced at some point? Because I have a feeling that's where this is heading. Um, I, no. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. And without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. Okay. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Okay. Am I supposed to write an answer to that down here or something and then it gets marked? Or do I j Okay. I just read it. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first thing. You must unlock its meaning from constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of role. Oh, okay, that... That's nice, I think. What, what do you want me to do now? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Uh. Oh. You, you want me, you want me to... Force go! Oh! Okay. No. But... Okay, I... I think it's... Force go! Might be a little easier if I just. See, I'm a little dry in the throat. Well done. I, I. Again. Can I? Can I just take a little sip of a drink? Okay. So, so you guys can summon people with this voice thing. You learn quickly. Once more. Okay. All right. Impressive. Your Isn't that hard? Precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Mm. Uh, okay. You will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Master Bo Is that Master Bori? Okay, following Master... Just, I'm just going to have a quick sip of a drink. It's... So this is it. You guys are just going to teach me to do some cool stuff, and then I can wander off. Little suspicious, but hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, you know, being able to shove people around with shouting could be useful. Oh, night is falling. Okay, that's a very impressive looking gate. And I see that you have already begun to learn the whirlwind sprint shot. 
Have I? Master what? Master will teach you Na, Fury, the second word of Whirlwind Sprint. No. Oh, so I've learned the first word from one of the walls. That's what I'm doing. Hear the word within On those walls, I'm learning you can project it into a words. Fury, Whirlwind Sprint. Oh, okay. Have I, I, ooh, okay, give me a second. Um, so I'm supposed to whirlwind sprint. Uh, oh, I have zero dragon souls. I've got one word of this learned. Okay. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Okay. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Whoa. Oh, your turn. <gasps> Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Really? Can I cheat? Oh no! Oh no! That! Oh! We can. Your quick mastery of a new thum is definitely with that. Astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I did. I thought it was this easy for everyone. I didn't know how I'd do it. It just happened. Uh, what's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Why? Why? What? Where? Yeah. You want me to get a horn? Why? What? What does that have to do with this? Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do? Whoa! Just whoa! Whoa! Do the dragons have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely. Bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Surely there's more you can tell me. We're um. Well, yeah, like, like, are you saying that I'm gonna have more encounters with dragons? Because I've already had two. And I'd say that was two more than any person should actually ever have. Is there nothing else you can tell me? There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Oh! Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. What does it mean to be dragonborn then? Go on then, what does, what does that mean? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods, at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Yeah, <laughs> what happens if I'm never ready? Why are the shouts in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, 
and you learn it almost without effort. Okay. See, I'm seeing the plus side of that. But I'm sensing catches here. There's only four of you, right? There's no one else? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. That name When your rings voice a bell. can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. It was mentioned in one of the plaques, I think. When can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Tell me about the... Yes, tell me about yourself. I'm interested. I'm a, I'm a curious kind of person. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkola. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Ooh, yeah, uh, Jürgen Wincaller. Again, name on one of the plaques. Also, it's his horn I'm getting. I'm, you know, if it weren't for the fact that apparently I am actually capable of shouting and then doing some pretty amazing things with this voice... I'd be feeling a scam here. You just want someone to go off and get some relic for you. Although there is a side of me thinking, relic. <sighs> Who was Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Okay, I have a feeling... Jürgen was overthinking the situation. Chances are, the reason he was defeated was because he lost, okay? He just, he got his butt handed to him because his opponents were stronger. And all the excuses he came up with were to avoid facing that fact. It's always like, it's our pride and arrogance. No, 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 you just got outplayed. Tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkola. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Uh, oh yeah, why, why doesn't anybody else talk? Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. Oh, OK, so they're stronger than you, because you, you're not killing me. What is the way of the voice? Just... The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery mm. of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Okay, well, I'm fine then, because my, my, my inner spirit is always in perfect balance with my outer actions. My outer actions are always a perfect reflection of my inner spirit. But I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? I will try to fo You know, no, no, of course I will. Yes, yes. Wisdom, peace, and stuff. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny I requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? That If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, mm. you will remain true to the way. 
See... Sky, got you. <sighs> See, this is the problem here. This is the problem. We've been given this, apparently, by a god who has plans for us. And you know those plans are not going to be running, well, hand in hand with mine. And, and, and as much as this power does, you know, seem appealing, I despise the idea of being beholden to someone else and, more importantly, having to follow their plan. Although, um, you know, there is also... I mean, just, like, seriously, come on, I want to do it again, I want to do it again, I want to do it again, come on, quicker, 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 I want to do it again, I get tired, I have to catch my breath apparently, okay, here we go, Whee! <laughs> <laughs> so I completely know it's a bad idea to try and step into there. I mean, that is an absolute blizzard. In fact, it's beyond a blizzard. That looks almost magical. And the wind seems to be blowing, well, in that direction. And that direction is a direction known as off, specifically off the mountain. And yet, as insane. Yeah, no, I know. We'll, we'll, I will. I'll, I'll try and find us a place to stay. It's getting a little late. I'm sort of a bit reluctant to wander down a mountain in the middle of the night in this weather. Okay, we've got towers. Do you think they'd let us stay here? Hello? Wolfgar? Oh yeah, no, no talking. Got it? Yes, got it. No talking. So, what do we do now? I mean, he did mention an artifact. He did? Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller. So, that's something for the museum. That's, you know. It's dark in here, isn't it? When in doubt, go and acquire stuff. Excuse me. Uh, I'm good. Sky above, voice within. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't we already talked about that? Does he have something to do with me? Why are the dragons returning? Doesn't it? We've already said. We've already spoken about this. No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. Yeah. You focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Okay. If I don't hone my voice, would the path remain murky? Because I'm actually all for murky paths. You know, so like, for example, if, if I didn't... Breath and focus. If I didn't get any better at the whole shouting thing, would that mean, um, you know, I'd never have to involve myself with... Okay. Dragons and such. All right, that is a table. Do you have anything remotely like, I don't know, bedrooms? I, I only ask because I really, really could do with a night's sleep, as could my friend. Okay, this looks more comfortable, he says, checking to see if they have any books that he does not have. All of the beds are, um, well, they look like they belong to people. 
They also look really uncomfortable. Do you think I'm allowed to take one of these grey beard mantles? Am I not technically a student of the voice? I sort of feel like I am. Um. Okay, it's it's a cloak. It's a cloak. It's not a very nice one. First stanza of Kagrenak. Okay, thing is, is they don't get many visitors here, and if something like that goes missing, they're probably going to figure out that it was me. So I think what we have to do is sort of wander away and then come back in a few days' time, sneak up here, and take it. Do I even need it? Is there a place for it? In the museum. I mean, there really does look like there should be a place for that, I tell you what. Yeah. Let's not upset them yet. Just remember where it is. We may need their help. Let's focus on what we know and what we can do. I can now do some fairly weird things. Which is cool. We have a lead on a new artifact. Also cool. But I have a horrible sneaking suspicion I'm getting roped into something I don't want to get roped into. Not cool. I also want to ask Orion about the name of the museum. And also the fact that we spoke to a guy outside here. Yes, I would like to get to the bottom of the uh, mystery that is the museum's name. I would also like to get to the bottom of this mountain in time to have a night's sleep and to do so in a manner that does not involve falling to my doom. Okay, so we get a room for the night. It is, yeah, it's definitely a good time to sleep. Get a room for the night and head off first thing in the morning back to solitude. I'm not sure where this horn can be found, but we can find it. You look a little strange. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Uh, d um, well, um, this, that is up for debate at the moment. I'm not completely sure. Yeah, no idea what you're talking about. I've heard something about it. Someone else, probably. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. We know you are the false Dragonborn. A false? You shall not stand in the way of the true Dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Look, mate, if somebody else wants the <laughs> job, then welcome to it. I don't... Okay. Is that... Is... Is this... Okay, he's dead! Whoa! Fireballs! More fireballs! I forgot to put poison... Oh! Poison's on! Oh, I should be practicing my wards, shouldn't I? Top! Wow, you will... Who the hell were they? Search the cultist. Cultist boots. Cultist gloves. Cultist... Okay, I don't have one. I'm... I'm... Orders to cultist. Okay. Uh... Right. There was another one. Orders to cultist. They had... A... Orders on them. And he doesn't want me to get in the way of the real... Dragonborn, I'm perfectly happy for somebody else to take on that particular mantle. Um, 
cultist. Did we take cultist row? You know what? Let's just. Yes, I'm sure we can find a place for them in the museum. Are the guards not a little bit? Two gentlemen just attacked me and started summoning elementals. Does nobody care? Perhaps this is your average evening in Everstead. Get into a fight, someone gets murdered or... Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Just let me know... Wolves are the least of my worries. Yes, they are. Okay, um... How... Let don't... Okay, yes. Uh, here's what I've... Uh, no. What I've got to absolutely not accidentally do... Yes? Is when telling you to sit down accidentally... I don't know. Shout everything off the table. I'm pretty sure that would not be... You know. No. What? I'm having what some... Mean? The mm. return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? I don't know, but there was a couple of guys outside Fair asking enough. about it. So, maybe you could figure that out. Do you have any sweet rolls? Do you? No, probably not. Nowhere as ever has sweet rolls. Okay, sit down. Sit down. It feels good to take a break. Yes, it does. I'm going to take my hood off. Lindley, would you mind taking care? Okay. Um. Right. What did we just... Orders to a cultist. Board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Leonard before he reaches Solstein. Wait, where the hell is Raven Rock? When it, before Leonard, right, known as Leonard, before he reaches Solstein. Why would I go to Solstein? Return with word of your success and Mirak shall be most pleased. Let me get this right. I found out, well, I was told that I am the Dragonborn sometime, I think, was it yesterday? Or was it still this morning? Was it this morning? No, it wasn't. It was yesterday. The, 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 the Greybeard summoned me, and in the time it took me to get from bloody Whiterun to here, these cultists got from Solstein all the way here. To stop me going to Solstein. What is in Solstein? Why would I care? Is this other Dragonborn there? Do you think? Customer, please. Oh. You want a drink? Eh. Um. Me, yeah. Uh, do you have any sweet rolls? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Yeah. <laughs> All of the above. Sweet rolls. No. You don't actually have anything that I want. I, I think I should avoid alcohol. What was I saying? No um, problem. The graybeards have taught you well, and you are a quick learner. Now you are louder and faster than ever. Let us go get that horn, my friend. You think we should get the horn? I'm with you on that, but... I think I saw it again. <sighs> Ghost. It was over by the Barrows. That thing's evil, Linley. I told you to keep away from there. I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. See that you don't. It is nice I to take a break to from battle safe. once in a while. I'm okay, not going to this break is my good. word. I've gotten distracted. There are stories mm. about you and dark tidings in Dawnstar. Yes, excuse me, please, sorry. We don't want any food. Go away, thank you. Okay, this, this, this other dragonborn, do you think he could just... I mean, we could... So, you run Winterhold College now. I had no idea you were so into education. Maybe there's a pretty witch there you're not telling me about. I need a night's sleep. The assassin. Yes, I do. I need you to kill the visiting noble at Dragon's Reach in oh. White Run. Here's the gold. I, I hope it's enough. Oh! 
Oh yeah, we had a contract I to pick up here. No, I don't. I don't know you either. Oh, I I am so going to bed. You haven't touched that sweet roll. You've been carrying that one sweet roll. Are you afraid we're going to run out? Thing is, I need you on top of your game. I need your brain in in like you know tip top condition right now because mine's not. I'm a little bit discombobulated. So I'm going to give you one more sweet roll. So you got two, so you, you, you can still eat one and have a spare. If you get what I'm saying, right? I'm going to have... I'm just going to have cheese and water. Okay, so... I wonder what our next adventure will be. Something exciting, I hope. Yeah, I tell you what, why don't we... Why don't I we, don't know you. I don't know you either, go away. Okay, hang on. I'm with you any moment. Board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Leonard before he reaches Solstheim. Why would I be going to Solstheim, and why would they worry about that? Really? What is it that everybody else knows that I do not? I mean, I'm tempted to go and find this person and say, look, seriously, you're welcome to the whole Dragonborn thing. Just take it off my hands. There you go. Have fun. Enjoy. Sort of thing. Like, I've no interest. It was nice knowing you. Also... Could you possibly tell me why I might want to go to Solstein? Because I'm really, really curious. We could... We could... We could go and check the ship he came in on. To be honest with you, though, I think what I would really rather do right now is, first of all, speak to Orion in the museum. I really do want to give him the news about the Shard, but I also want to ask about the bloody museum name. I mean, I'm finding this too big a coincidence. Now, the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller, that's at Ustengrav. And although that's quite close to Solitude, it's actually much easier to get there from Morthal, by the looks of things. Morthal or... Dawnstar. Dawnstar's probably the colder route. Morthal, the uh, wetter route. Might be a nice idea to call in Dawnstar once I've killed that target. I've been a little remiss in my duties with regard to the Night Mother. She seems reasonably patient, but she's probably not particularly forgiving. I could swing by there. This was the second noble I've killed inside Dragon's Reach. Um, you know, I mean, it's not like I have a limit or something, an upper limit. I can only kill four a year or something. It's just a little odd. Actually, I suppose it shouldn't be odd that uh, many of the targets I have are nobles in Dragon's Reach or perhaps Solitude. That, that actually is a good sign when you think about it. Right, I tell you what, though. Let's let's go via White Run. I mean, we've got to get the carriage from somewhere. Might as well be White Run rather than Rift and kill this target. Go on to Solitude and have a long chat with Orion, and then figure out what to do next. Although I'm pretty sure what next is go off and get the horn for the museum. And uh, maybe if we just lie low, the whole. Dragon bone thing will just sort of go away. You know, we just avoid anything that looks like a dragon as well. Because that does not... Oh, God. I'm... I was about to apologise for pushing your horse around, but actually... A little sad me thinking it's uh, payback. I have this claw, and for some bizarre reason, I have this overpowering urge to give it back to you. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Yes. I'm gonna put this it's back hilarious. where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Ye yes. You're just gonna leave it there, are you? Okay. 
I shall remember that. While we're here, Inigo, we can actually check to see if the furniture has arrived and see if it's um, up to our high standards. And you can probably just hang around there while I, uh, you know, just pay a quick visit to, uh, to a friend, if you get my meaning. Okay. So, did we order anything on the outside? I don't think we did. All right. Let's have a look and see if... Okay, that is a little better. Okay, we've got seats, we've got furniture, we've got a very bright fireplace. I do hope Lydia is not going to burn the place down. Hello! I am your sword and your shield. That's very nice. And you're keeping the pl Ooh, an alchemy lab. I something on your mind? No. I am always here for you, my friend. You're always there. Could you be somewhere slightly different? I'm just curious as to uh yes. What new things I have. Okay. So it's it's a Fairly small place, and yes, I'm looking for a sweet roll. But it's comfortable. We can sit in front of the fire. We can have some... Oh, please tell me we've got a better bed. Ugh, we've got a sweet... We've got two sweet rolls? What an odd mannequin you have in your home. Oh, sorry, my mistake. It is Lydia. Okay, do you not like Lydia? Is there something I should know? She's not, like, really annoying or anything, is she? I am... Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. A sweet roll never disappoints. Okay, so you are eating the sweet rolls. We, we've got a couple here. I'm... I'm... Well... Really? While I'm at the... Uh, not that I'm going to the palace, but if I ever go back to the palace, I'm going to have a word with... him about... I'm um, see if there's... I mean, there are... he did put the bedroom furnishings in. This is it, isn't it? This is it. That is my... Oh. I mean, it's no worse than the one in the inn, but it's also... I can't believe I'm saying this, but we really will not be spending a lot of time in Whiterun by the looks of things. I mean, I've got a bed in solitude, a proper one. Olivia, your face is as pretty as your head is empty. Okay. I'm going to leave you here. Okay, I will unwind a while. Have fun with Lydia, I guess. Oh, um, when it was down here, wasn't it? I'm just going to take a bit of a sneak potion. Don't ask why. Um, it could be useful in the near future. Okay, in a go. It is time to leave. I'm afraid there was a little bit of uh, bad news I at the palace. Uh, a visiting noble. He, uh, he had a heart attack or something, or had something that disagreed with him. Died at dinner. It was it was most unfortunate. We are uh, leaving. I'm sure you want to stay here, spending more time okay. with Relaxation Lydia. However, we have things to do. Long life to you, Payne. I do hope so. Say goodbye to Lydia in a go. I know you want to. No. I am so tempted to bring her along with us. It clearly says Dragonborn Gallery, which means he either knew that one day I would be called that by some strange old men in grey robes, or it's a total coincidence. A coincidence of epic proportions, I might add. But he's claiming total ignorance on this. Well, he's actually being remarkably 
tight-lipped. He doesn't seem to want to talk about it. Now, I know he's got secrets. I know he has. He's got some power as well. He knows things he should not know. But the fact that I don't understand how is worrying me. I mean, I feel like he's on our side. But maybe that's another power of his. There is also the question of how on earth did he know that we would be, uh, you know, meeting dragons to get pieces of dragons for the dragon displays. Actually, why on earth do we need actual dragon bones for that? Why can't we just make them out of wood or something? It's not like we let people test them or anything. <sighs> Alright, let's just go sort the stuff out and then... Well, think about what we're doing next. Orion's notes on the fists of Randagulf. It's rather amusing to me that with all this research we've been doing, all these far bygone legends and lore, that during all that time the Fists of Randagulf are a mere stroll away from the here at the Blue Palace itself. Apparently when the Never Nerevarine began their travels across Tamriel after the Red Mountain events and destruction of Dagoth Ur, they presented the gauntlets to Torik's great-grandfather, ten generations removed, and they've been passed down to the High King ever since. I tried to petition Jarl Elisif to donate or entrust okay, these gauntlets to the museum, but had very little luck in convincing her. It's a shame that such a nice relic goes unseen in some back room case somewhere in the palace. At the very least, I should hope they would all be placed on prominent display for all to see. I suppose she has such much bigger issues to concern herself with the moment, however. Okay, so... Like, we could go and take it and put it on display. But stealing something from the Blue Palace and then putting it on display in your museum, which is public, seems a fairly daft thing to do. And we're not daft, are we? I mean, occasionally a little unwise, but we're not daft. Are we? Oh my God, I got his ground. I don't want to talk to you anymore.